If you would like to know who really stole the election, it wasn't Russia. It wasn't Russia. I'm telling you right now, mark my words, it wasn't Russia buying ads on Facebook or Twitter uh, or colluding with Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. What threw the election was Americans inside America. It was the Koch brothers. It was Goldman Sachs. It's the military industrial complex. It's Silicon Valley. They buy our government. That is who threw the the election. You know who else threw the election? Oh, my God. There you go. New York City's Board of Elections will admit it purged more than 200,000 voters from city rolls. 200,000. That was in Brooklyn. After many Brooklyn residents arrived at the polls during last year's presidential primary to learn they were deemed ineligible to vote, the good government group Common Cause New York, New York filed suit. State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman and the Brooklyn U.S. Attorney Office joined in the litigation. 200,000 people purged from the rolls in Brooklyn alone. You think that's the only place that happened? By the way, New York City's Board of Elections is acknowledging it broke the law. They were willing to break the law to keep Bernie Sanders from winning. And they did it on a mass scale. They didn't do it on a little scale, mass scale. They illegally purged 200,000 people from the voting rolls in Brooklyn. What do you think happened around the country? What do you think happened in Arizona? What do you think happened in California? What do you think happened? You think that's the only place that happened? Really, that's the only place that happened. And by the way, they admit they, they broke the law. In a statement, Schneiderman said the city's Board of Elections illegally purged over 200,000 New Yorkers from the rolls, violating the law and New Yorkers' trust in institutions meant to protect their rights. And I'm going to guess, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 people are going to go to jail because that's not in this article. No one's going to go to jail for this? No one goes to jail? You, you guys want to start World War fucking three over Trump tampering with a server? Here we literally have them breaking the law and admitting that they kept 200,000 Americans from voting. How many of them are going to go to jail? Well, Jimmy, the corporate media is going to talk about this nonstop until somebody does. By the way, I have clearly. I, have you heard? I haven't. I'm not a you know I'm not an avid watcher of cable news anymore. I can't stomach it. I literally can't stomach it. It literally hurts my stomach to watch cable news. But I haven't seen. I haven't heard a buzz. I haven't seen this. I go on Twitter. I go on Facebook. I haven't seen people talking about this. Have you seen people talking about this, Ron? No. Steph, have you seen people talking no, about this? No, but immediately when I look at this, I remember how I was shocked that Bernie didn't win. Hands down, Brooklyn. Right. Do you remember that? Remember like, the New York? Yeah. And, you know, so I was reading something right now, and it says she had won 57.9% of the votes in New York compared to his 42.1%. And that— um, Besides the 3 million people, they wouldn't let vote. Uh-huh, no kidding. And uh, she had about—she won in, in that borough about 60% of the votes, and uh, she crowed later, there's no place like home. Ha! Uh, even though she's from Chicago. <laughs> Again, just can't, can't help but lie at every turn. She's such a bad liar, Hillary Clinton. She's so repulsive. Uh, so there you go. Again, uh, can you look up? Is anybody going to go to prison for this? Oh. Let's, let's see. Hmm. So guess what? We just double-checked. We can't find anybody saying that anybody's going to prison. They purged 117,000 votes in Brooklyn alone. 200,000 overall. And nobody goes to prison. Nobody. If one person tries to vote twice, they go to prison. But if you could just wipe out 200,000 people and nobody goes to prison, you could admit you did it illegally. You can admit you broke the law on a massive scale, but you cheated a progressive. So no price to pay. No price to pay, baby. So you want to know who threw the election? You think this is the only place that happened? Brooklyn, where they purged 117,000 people from the votes, 200,000 overall. You think that's the only place that happened? Give me a break. They cheated all the way through the primaries. They lied about Trump's dossier. They lied about everything. They're lying scumbags. And they did this to cheat progressives. And this is why we have Trump. You want to know why we have Trump? It's because, because of fucking $100,000 in Facebook ads. It's because of this, because of cheating. That's why. Because the Democrats had to cheat to get Hillary Clinton in. Because she's so goddamn repulsive. Nobody, 
Oh, I, I, you you would think this would be wall to wall, front page news. Well, they wouldn't stop talking about it. Who's going to go to prison? We demand answer. Nothing. Almost silence about this story. Isn't that amazing? There you go. That's who threw the election. Does it drive anybody else crazy that we all know who really threw the election? It was the DNC. It was shit like this. It wasn't the Russians. Or Susan Sarandon. Oh, I think Susan Sarandon did it. She Well, she's, a, she's in America. She was among them. Jill Stein. <laughs> Susan Sarandon's been known to throw elections. She's very powerful. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. By the way, I, I'll take credit. I'll, t- I'll take credit for it. And if you don't be nice to me, I will throw the next election. You better start being nice. You know, that's what politicians are supposed to do. If Hillary Clinton would have actually reached out to me, I, as a, I mean, I mean me personally, I mean me as a progressive. She would have gave, hey, my vice president's Elizabeth Warren. I don't want to pick Bernie. I'll pick Elizabeth. Hey, now you got two women on the ticket. How can you lose? No, she picked a right to work, an anti-union motherfucker who's pro-TPP, pro-fracking, pro-Wall Street. Pro-life. Pro-life. That was her vice presidential pick. She didn't do anything to reach out to us. So no, I'm not voting for a Democrat. And Democrats are done. So good luck. Um, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube doesn't want you to hear this stuff. Like the rest of the world doesn't want you to hear this stuff. So please make sure you subscribe. They're making it hard to see our videos. And please make sure you become a Patreon. Is that how you do it? Or patron? Patreon. Patreon. On Patreon. On Patreon. Or you can use our PayPal, become a premium member. We give you lots of premium stuff. Or a t-shirt or a mug. Thanks for supporting the show. The next live Jimmy Dore show is November 6th in Burbank, California, and November 12th in Portland, Oregon. Link for tickets right there.